So here I'm just outlining um, a bunny that I drew um, with a extra small black ink pen. And this is just a time lapse video, a quick um, video of what I did there. Hi guys, so now I have scanned in this bunny drawing that I did. Um, I did it first in pencil and then went over it in ink. Um, so now I'm going to color him. Uh, to do that, I grab the lasso tool and just lasso around him. And command C to copy. Oh, only one. And we'll go ahead and do, let's see, put this to inches. Let's make a seven by seven inch. I'm going to leave it on RGB as it's just going to be for screen. Okay. And I'm not actually going to do um, any uh, like effects in the background. I'm not going to have a watercolor paper this time. I'm going to show you how you can color in with just solid color and blending smudge tool. So go ahead and paste that in, command V, command T to make him, to resize him, hold down shift and option key, and drag it out. Okay, that's okay. And I'm just going to clean up the edges. You don't have to do this. The next step um, will actually clean up the whole image, but I like to do it just because I don't want to have too much paper background. And I just clean up any pencil marks that I don't want to have showing. I'll do this at the end as well. Okay. That's roughly right. Okay. Now, go to Levels, Command L, and click the white eyedropper tool and click anywhere where there is paper until you get it. There we go. As white as you like it. Okay, and I'm going to go back and just clean up a bit more pencil. Oops, not too much. Okay. All right, so now I've got him pretty well cleaned up. I'm going to start coloring. And to color him, I'm going to make him kind of a grayish bunny. I'm going to move him over a little bit. There we go. And this layer I'm going to put on, this is the drawing layer. So go ahead and like drawing. And this will be on multiply. So I've changed it up there to multiply. And now I'm going to add a color layer underneath. Go ahead and drag that underneath. So it's just adding a layer and calling it color. And we're going to leave that on normal. Now, usually what I tell everybody to do is to now go up here and change it to multiply. Well, we're not going to be doing that today. We're going to just use the standard brush that you have with your Photoshop CC. Uh, let's see. Soft round pressure. So it's your, your normal brush. And we're just going to do like block in color. So we're starting with gray. And you can do, because it's on normal, it doesn't matter really whether you start with dark or light. I'm going to kind of start with a mid gray. OK. And bring it there. And go ahead and just start coloring him in. And so what you're going to do is just block in uh, your color first. You're going to kind of just get where everything is light and dark. You want to get that in. So we're starting with like the mid-tone first. Okay. 
Okay. I'll leave his tail white for now. I would, I would probably change it to a bit of an off-white. Okay, so it's his whole body kind of covered in. Um, let's go with a darker grey. It's going to look really weird to start with. It's not going to be that pretty looking. But that's okay. It will be pretty by the end. So you're just getting all your shadows. And you do not have to hold down the brush this, with this method because it's on normal. You can lift it up. Okay, we'll get a darker grey. Okay, as you can see, I just keep blocking in different shadows. All right, maybe one darker again, make the brush size a bit smaller. Come on, brush. There we go. Okay, he's pretty cute already. A little bit darker in the shadows. Okay. Now I'm going to do some highlights. Just hit everywhere that needs to be lighter. Let's do his tail less gray here. Okay. And I think we'll do lighter again. All right. And the lightest just on the edge. Okay. And I might give him a little bit of a pink, pink nose. And we'll see what this looks like with a bit of pink in his ear. Once we blend it, see if I like that or not. It's going to change the way it looks in a minute when I start to blend it. Maybe we'll give him a little bit of pink on his cheeks. Okay, so now you can start blending it. Look, it looks kind of rough right now, but um, go to your smudge tool. Make that a bit bigger. And just start blending everything in. I'm 
can see the more I blend it, the more that I like that. It's not so drastic pink there. Now obviously it's quite smooth, there's not a lot of texture. If you wanted to, you could put in some textured paper. Uh, even now after you've done the colouring, you could still do that if you wanted to. Uh, but basically this is just a simple tutorial on how you can colour just using normal colours and I'll give them pink feet. Um, and just using the smudge tool. There you go. Now if you wanted to add some paper texture you could. You could just, you've got your colour and drawing there, go ahead and press shift and so you've got both of them and then press the folder. That's put them into a group. You can then press uh, this, the mask layer, added a mask, edit, fill and you can change it to pattern in the contents and then I just did this new pattern I tried out, which is more of a pastel painting. So oil pastel light, you could try that. Okay, Ooh, as you can see, that's a bit too much. So on here, it's highlighted the gray box. You can go to Command L for levels. And by dragging this right arrow down, you can change how much uh, texture you have on the paper. So. It tends to, for me to be kind of in the middle of the graph. That's kind of cool. I like a little bit of texture. There we go. So there you go. That's just a very quick, easy coloring tutorial for you. And um, I hope you have fun and try that out today because it's super simple and it can have really fun results. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.